We want to head over now to Little Rock, Arkansas. That's where national climate reporter Chase Kane joins me live. So Chase, we know that you are at the Nature Conservancy in Little Rock. Talk to us about why you're there instead of some of the other uh, viewing spots in Arkansas. What would be special about that spot? Well, I mean, we see we have correspondents all through the eclipse path with lots of people around. We thought, let's show you something a little bit different. Let's be in nature because nature, just like people, is going to respond to the sudden darkness that lasts for a few minutes in the middle of the day. So we're hoping that's going to be a pretty interesting experience in just a couple hours. Yeah, we're hearing that sometimes maybe owls start hooting or frogs start croaking, insects, you know, maybe that would normally make those sounds or have those reactions at nighttime. Do we think that might happen in the four minutes when the moon is, you know, in front of the sun? Yeah, we're hoping that the birds, the geese, the frogs maybe are going to cooperate and give us a little bit of a show. Uh, to talk about what we might expect, we have Jason Milks here with the Nature Conservancy, a forester, a wildlife ecologist. Uh, Jason, we were chatting earlier, you said there's basically four main categories of what nature might do during the eclipse. Talk us through that. Yeah, there's been some research to show that what we might expect can break down into four broad categories. One being nothing, like no one, the <laughs> animals don't care. Number two, they might start uh, performing some of their bedtime rituals, moving back into the roost and whatnot. Uh, a third could be anxiety, particularly prey species, unsure of whether this large shadow is, a, is prey moving on them, or some other novel approach, whether it's mating or <laughs> weird noises or things of that nature. So I think it's it'll be interesting to see what what actually plays out. Yeah, bedtime might include mating for some species. Uh, right. we, were, we were talking about birds, um, you know, might be squawking, sounding the alarm essentially to the forest of like, hey, why is it dark all of a sudden? This isn't right. Um, but also kind of a, a, an interesting experience, I think, for us. It's going to be both of our first total eclipse. What, what do you expect? Do you have any expectations? Yeah, that's that's right. I'm, I, my expectations are open. I, I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be. I'm looking forward to it. Appreciate the opportunity to, to be here with you on it. And yeah, it'll be, it's going to be exciting one way or the other. Yeah. Lifetime changing experience potentially. Yeah, we hope so. And Jason also has his 12 year old daughter out here with us. So we will all be with you in just a couple of hours during our live special. Uh, my first uh, total eclipse, Vicky. So I'm also pretty excited about how this is going to go. And nature, maybe nature will also give us a little bit of a show in the process. Yeah, we can't wait to hear what you experience, Chase. National climate reporter Chase Kane live in Arkansas for us. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.